in our previous video we have added some of the components from angular material the components are toolbar buttons and mat icons to use these components we have to import corresponding modules from angular material if you are not importing those modules then you will get an error the error will be this component is not defined in this application like that um, importing of all the modules from angular material is a great concept let's assume we have three modules a b and c in all these modules we want to create some components from angular material we want to create it uh, in all the modules in this case we have to import corresponding modules of angular material in all these three modules for example we are using a uh, icon button if the icon is mat icon then we have to import it in all the three modules if you are importing a mat icon module from angular material in all these modules then it is like we are making duplicate code how can we resolve this let's see what will happen if we create a separate module just like we have done in the previous video in our application we have this shared module um, in that shared module we have added the angular material component toolbar all the angular material modules uh, are imported in this shared module we are using this shared module in all other modules using this approach we can fix the code duplicacy problem but this method also has some drawbacks let's assume um, in the third module i want to use grid and i do not want to use that grid in first two modules in this case i want to use the grid only in the third module the corresponding imports are written in shared module and we are using the shared module in all the three modules so the reference of the grid is available in all the modules but we have a problem in this approach what is the problem um, the problem is first two modules are unnecessarily using that grid module few developers uh, prefer to use shared module for the angular material components and few developers do not like this approach they prefer to import angular material modules in all the modules so in this approach uh, we are not getting unnecessary references in our module and the application will not be much heavy based on the need of our application we have to decide whether we need to create common separate module for angular material or we have to input angular material module individually in all all our modules here we are working with very simple application in this application we are not having more dependencies so we will not use more angular material components the best approach is we can create shared module and we can input all the angular material components and modules there in this application we have this shared module now we will create one more module to make this application more better in that module we will have only imports from angular material for that let's open the terminal window here let's write this command ng g and then m i want to create this module inside this shared folder then module name will be material and a parent module for this new module will be shared so we can write dash dash m equal shared and i do not want to create a folder for this module so write dash dash flat option then press enter you can see here we have one more module open this shared module see here we are having the reference of this material module in the imports array here 
let's cut all the uh, material modules Remove it from here. So I copy this one. Let's open this material module. Replace this common module. Remove this common module from here. And open the shared module. Here. Copy this input. Remove it from here. And paste it here and save the changes no need to add any components here we have created this uh, separate file for the angular material modules so there is no need to use these imports here we have to use exports only and save the changes let's build this application using this command ng build Build is successful. Now uh, run this application using this command ng serve dash o. Let's see in the browser. See here. We are having this angular material toolbar. So it is working fine. This is how we can create a separate module for angular material modules and we can use them in our angular application. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thanks for watching this.